Well, I think you can guess who this one belongs to. This is Peter Sagan's custom painted, stunning, world champion, specialized S-Works tarmac. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed by all the detail that Specialized have put into this, but I think we should start with the sparkles. They're present throughout the frame, and it was a sparkling victory, a glorious victory by Sagan in Richmond, so I think they are absolutely fitting. Next up, S-Works. Inside the lettering is the name of every single road race world champion so far. A really nice tribute to the history of the sport and the history of the world championships. Moving on from that, Tinkoff Saxo have actually got a camo design training kit and I think that's reflected in the camo design rainbow. Again, wouldn't have thought of that when I thought of the world championship jersey. You tend to think more traditional stripes like this. Nestled inside the rainbow detail, actually just up here, is the Slovakian national symbol. Let's move right to the front of the bike where the specialized S glimmers in gold. Celebrating a world championship victory isn't just about the frame though, it's about the party straight afterwards and it's also about the cycling kit. Sagan at the moment has opted for white shorts. I think he's hoping to change that one. And it's also about the other components where you can really bring out the rainbow detail. So we can see that on his FSA K-Force light chain set with an integrated SRM. And also up here, now this is a new seat post. I think FSA have literally just got it to him here at the final day of the Abu Dhabi tour. With the stunning paint job covered, it's easy to think that the rest of the build may lag way behind in terms of interest, but that's absolutely not the case. There are some really cool parts on the rest of the build. Let's start with the finishing kit. We've already mentioned the rainbow FSA seat post, but he has a custom Pro Logo Scratch 2 saddle, and that actually has his name on, along with the Tinkoff Saxo camo. It's not in rainbow camo yet. Sure, we'll see that very soon from Pro Logo. Moving forward, he's got a stem that looks very much like a non-sponsored stem. It's a really beefed up stem. It's got SL Sprint here, and I'm presuming, yep, that is zip black insulating taped over. It's 15 centimeters long, which is huge. Clearly got a very long reach, but the stem, super strong, super stiff, so when Sagan's out the saddle, really giving it some, that's gonna hold up to the demands. His bars are aluminium, and they're FSA Energy traditional bend bars. And they're 42 centimeters wide. Moving down from the stem, just here, says ceramic speed. So the Tinkoff Saxo team, some of their wheels have ceramic speed bearings in, but this is the first Tinkoff Saxo bike that I've seen ceramic speed headset bearings in. Although on the face of it, you might think that the world champion gets a full Dura Ace group, so that's not quite the case. Well, he's got Durace DI2 levers, he's got the sprint shifters in the drops, Durace DI2 front mech and the Durace DI2 rear mech. The cassette is an Ultegra, so that's a pretty sensible cost-saving move by the team. You get through a lot of cassettes in a year. You want your cassette to always be in great condition. There's not much of a penalty by choosing Ultegra. The chain is Durace, though. The chain set is an FSA K-Force light. Already mentioned the rainbow detail, which matches up to the seat post. It's got an SRM power meter there and 3953 really the standard choice of chain rings. Pedals are Look Kio Blade pedals. Keeping with the Durace theme of most of the groups, that Sagan has got Durace brakes. Unlike some frames, Specialized don't yet have direct mount on this one, but still stopping, although looking at the way Sagan descends, I don't think he touches his brakes all that often. Specialized are one of the few bike brands who can pretty much supply a whole bike without the group set. And we see that in the wheel choice. Those are Rovell CLX 60 Rapide wheels and 60 millimeter rim, going to give you a pretty good aero section without being too cumbersome in the crosswinds. Like the wheels, the tubular tyres are also supplied by Specialized. Take some weights and measurements. Sagan's saddle height comes in at about 75.5 centimetres, which is standard for a guy of average height, but his reach is huge. That's over 61 centimetres. The weight of the bike is 7.415 kilograms, which, yes, it's a little over the UCI's weight limit, but paint is actually a surprising contributor to a bike's overall weight. So the amount of work that's gone into this one I'd say maybe the paint weighs the frame down a little, but it's got to be worth it, right? We actually did an exclusive interview with Peter Scan, where Matt rode with him for a couple of hours and got dropped and outskilled. Click there to check out that video. To see a video where you can learn how to wheelie like Peter Scan, no mean feat, just click down there and check that one out. And finally, click on me to subscribe to GCN. <laughs>